Damn! Those are the port injection life. making sure we're not going to have any fuel leaks in the injector bosses. So let's go check on uh, Owen and see how that's going. What's up, man? What? So what are we doing here? You're what? I need to just snug them down so they sit where they need to. So spacers sit flat. Some of you are probably wondering what this is all about. Direct injection right now has a peak flow limit that we can achieve. Nobody's quite come out with anything that truly works and is still usable in a street setting to provide the massive amount of fuel required to make massive amounts of horsepower. So the purpose of this is to add eight more injectors in a typical port fuel injection style to add a supplemental fuel as we turn the boost up and start making more horsepower. So this is what they look like sitting on the engine. So they space up the intake manifold two inches. The reason it's two inches is by removing the vanity cover that typically goes here on the intake manifold. That's how much clearance between the top of the intake manifold and the cowl uh, above the firewall on the trucks. Here it is kind of uh, assembled, test assembled on an engine we have here. We're going to go ahead and put about 30 PSI into the intake manifold, which is then going to pressurize the intake ports, which are here. And the reason we're doing that is if you look in here, this is how we have our fuel injectors set up, okay? And we, it's a very inconvenient spot to look for leaks. So in addition to airing it up, we're going to spray some soapy water solution and right here uh, on the injector O-rings and any other critical points that may have an air leak uh, which inevitably could lead to a fuel leak that we can't see. But it's very important that we get this part correct. And so let's air it up and start seeing what we got. Okay, so that, that sound you hear is actually air leaking past the valve stem seals. These are stock valve stem seals. I don't think they're really intended to see boost and they really only hold back about uh, 10 PSI before they start leaking. So that's what you're hearing right now. Uh, we have our airline hooked up here. So right now we're putting about 32 PSI of pressure into the intake manifold. You know what, for, there are some who believe these intake manifolds can't handle boost. and before I started filming this today, I had about 40 PSI of pressure going through this manifold. It hasn't blown up yet. I think uh, they're a lot stronger than people give them credit for. Now we're going to take uh, some soapy water solution, what I got right here, and we're going to spray it along the ceiling surfaces and make sure that there's no air leaks between the spacer and the intake manifold and the cylinder head. to spray the injector bosses uh, down in there so let's do that all right friends we are leak free 
ready to move on to the wiring and adding the fuel pump. Good job, Owen. You got this all together.